Hello, hello, and welcome. Today, I have a bit of a haul ASMR with a medley of beauty items, some items for an upcoming trip uh, for traveling, and also a fun couple of festive fall Halloween items. So just kind of a random medley, so I do hope that you enjoy. I have all the beauty items, skin items if you will, hair, in this Ulta bag, but not everything is from Ulta. It's from Ulta, Target, Sephora, pretty much the gist. I needed to stock up on some stuff, get a couple of things for the trip I'm going on, and just, yeah, let's dive into beauty section. This is the Target travel item miscellaneous things I got. I always love to have these on hand in general. They're just the wet one wipes, so I always like to have just a couple extra packs on hand, um, especially for trips or just, you know, going out and about. I find even at restaurants, wiping your hands or going out in public. It's just nice to have something like this to really get your hands clean in a way that I feel like just regular hand sanitizer doesn't feel like as satisfying in terms of cleanliness. <laughs> so I love a good pack of refreshing clean freak dry shampoo in the travel size. I usually keep this in my purse, but I also like to travel with this since it's less product than a huge bottle that I have to bring. I'm going to try very hard to bring very minimal amount of things on this trip, so small products are really important. And dry shampoo is a holy grail. I do find that I like to use clarifying shampoos when I use dry shampoo. It ends up making my hair very clean from the dry shampoo product. Um, so. Otherwise, this has been like my favorite brand of dry shampoo for years. I feel like it doesn't really compare to some other ones I've tried, but if you have a favorite, I'm always open suggestions. I picked up next a shave cream. I actually ran out of shaving cream and I should have bought like a full-size bottle but I also knew that I would want to bring some with me on my trip so I just got a travel sized to last me for like this week and maybe next week on my trip and then Maybe I'll buy a full-size version later. Although I do wish I had gotten the full-size. I usually like the vanilla one, but they only have pomegranate raspberry in the travel version of the EOS shave cream, which is my preferred shave cream. So, yeah. Got that. Got a travel-sized toothpaste. Very fun. <laughs> Just used this Crest Scope. that. And then two travel loofahs. One for me, one for my husband. <laughs> They're so tiny. These are nice because you can just use them for your trip and throw them out when you're done. Um, and you don't really have to like worry about bringing it back from, from your trip. So I like these a lot. 
and you may have seen this in previous hauls, but I am stocking up on another sunscreen uh, for my face. It's just the Eucerin Age Defense with Hyaluronic Acid SPF 50. This doesn't break me out. It's incredibly, I think, gentle for my skin and at least for my skin, I can't say for anyone else really, you might need to try it out to really know for yourself. Super lightweight, not very greasy at all. Um, so, and it's SPF 50, which I like SPF 50s usually. Just feel like that's extra protective for myself. Um, so yeah, it's oil free, um, hypoallergenic, non comatogenic does not run into eyes and sting. I haven't experienced that, and I know sunscreens can do that. Invisible finish. So, this is one of my favorite products that I've discovered this past year, and I think this might be like my third or fourth refill. So, it's definitely You don't really know when you're almost done with it, except that it feels lighter, and I always get nervous running out of it, so I try to buy a backup, you know, close to when I'm finished with my other one. Okay. Okay, so these are all my, like, little travel items. I have a plenty of products that I can put in travel bottles and all the fun stuff, so I plan to do that. Um, but these are just some things that I, I needed to get a couple backups of. Alright, so I have a couple of makeup items and skin items. This is the one skin product. I actually got this from Ulta, because uh, I did like an Ulta pickup order. The only problem I feel in our beauty industry, um, which I know isn't like a problem, but I like different products from different brands, both at Ulta and Sephora, and it can just make ordering from those places kind of hard, because I can't just get everything I want in one place. I have to like do different pickup orders or drive to different stores. Uh, so it's kind of annoying in that way, and I'm sure, I'm sure everyone else can relate. Um, I love e.l.f. and especially their makeup melting cleansing balm, which this is like my third one. It's so good at removing makeup gently and keeping my skin hydrated. I find that it really removes makeup very well and in a gentle fashion. So, uh, it's a holy grail item for me right now, and I'm planning on depotting some of it for my trip in another container, just because I don't really want to bring this big container with me. So, I decided to just stock up again on it, because I'm running out of my other one anyway, and I'll just depot a portion of it for my into a smaller container. So, hopefully it will hold up. I'm, I'm sure it will. Traveling can always be interesting with products. And in case you've never seen this before, it comes with like a little spatula, which you can always save these, honestly and use them for other products in the future that maybe don't come with spatulas. And then, this is the container. See, it's, it's, you know, it's compact, but it's pretty bulky at the same time, so I just don't think I'd want to bring this whole thing with me. So, planning on bringing that 
Dank. That's my makeup remover. I don't know about anyone else, but makeup removing cleansers often really burn my skin. I have the Seraphie one and I do like it. I just feel like sometimes it can be really drying on my skin and unless I follow up with a hydrating cleanser, it can, you know, not be nice to my skin. If anyone loves a makeup removing cleanser, let me know. Anything that I can just wipe off my makeup in the shower with is preferred. <laughs> I'm a wash my face in the shower kind of gal. Okay. So I got that. And then for perfumes, I love scents lately. I'm all about it. And I decided to pick up a re not a refill, but a new um, backup or new stock of my favorite um, scent from Sol de Janeiro. Is it Sol de Janeiro? Did I get that right? I'm always thinking it's called San Junipero, but that's a episode from Black Mirror. <laughs> I keep mixing it up. Yeah, it's Sol de Janeiro. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, um, but it's the 62 pistachio and salted caramel scent and this is just one of my most favorite scents I've ever come across in my lifetime and I love it so much I bought the big bottle and I actually have a travel container so I'm going to depot or decanter uh, this and some of it into my travel version and I will take that with me but I need a new full size anyway I'm running out This is just like one of my favorite scents I've discovered this year. I'm so happy with it. And if you're on the fence, I do believe they do travel size versions, which I do have a couple travel perfumes here, or samples if you will. I mean, they're called travel sprays, not necessarily samples. But that would be my recommendation if you're on the fence about a scent to get a travel sized version. It is still kind of pricey, but at least you're not paying as much in case you don't love it. And like sometimes you love a scent, you try it out, and then you kind of are like, yeah, I wouldn't buy the full size, but it was nice to have that. So I've had I've done that before with other perfumes, but Kali, which I think was created by Huda Beauty. If I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, Huda, HudaBeauty.com. Oh my gosh. This scent, Vanilla 28, is, I have the full size version. My Holy Grail scent as well. I'm a deeply, deeply vanilla sweets kind of gal when it comes to scents. That is just my jam. And I like just, I want to smell like a cookie everywhere I go. You know, like, that's my vendetta. That's my motto. <laughs> I don't know. So I got the um, travel spray version of my favorite perfume. And I love this because I can put it in my purse. I know I'm going to use it up because I love it. And I can take it with me traveling. I did buy travel perfume bottles off of, like, Amazon. But to be honest with you... They seem to really kind of janky to work with and the perfumes that I have did not I couldn't like remove the tops and I was scared I was gonna break my perfume so I just decided to forego those I will give them away <laughs> donate them and I'm just gonna be sticking with my travel sized versions of my favorite perfumes anyway that I know I could use at any given I'm going to take these with me to um, my trip. I'm going to be there for like a week. So I'm probably going to bring all of these or two out of these three. And my travel version of the um, Sol de Janeiro scent.
to remove that. spray these glass bottles are still you have to be really careful with them I took um, one with me on just like a very short trip up to like Big Bear here in California I was for my sister's wedding actually last year and it ended up breaking in the bag that I had it I think I accidentally like put something heavy on it and it broke like the top so it was really horrible. <laughs> Thankfully, I was almost done with it, but I would be devastated having this broken. So I'm going to be very careful wrapping these comfortably, um, making sure they're well padded, um, because I don't want to experience it breaking. So these, th this feels very durable. Like this looks like so I'm hoping this will be fine, but I'm going to be really extremely gentle packing everything. But yeah, this is the Kaoli Vanilla 28, which is delicious. I've been wanting to try this scent from Kaoli. Um, it's called Yum Pistachio Gelato 33. I've been wanting to try it for so long, and I decided to just pick up the travel-sized version to test it out in this like pretty mint green and it smells so good of course I love like pistachio scents apparently I would say it's definitely like in the family of Sol de Janeiro's pistachio and Sol de Caramel but it's not quite the same at all mm. it's light but still musky if that's like a nice word, way to put it, but I might also bring this one or I might leave this one here and just bring my favorite. I'm still debating. I'm not sure if I'm going to bring this one, but I do love that I was able to pick it up and try it. I believe Kaylee is um, uh, Sephora. So these are from Sephora. They are not carried as far as I'm aware of. So this next perfume is carried at Ulta and only Ulta and it's the Eilish Perfume by Billie Eilish. Me and my sister actually tried this in a Ulta magazine where it came with a sample and me and my sister loved it. So, so my sister got it and then I was like, I have to get it too. <laughs> Forever copying my older sister. Um, she has great taste, so I'm not ashamed. And I like this better than the dark one. This is the gold version, and there's like a sort of like darker metallic looking version. It's like her other scent. And this one is just so good. I wore it today, actually. I just put it back in the packaging because I wanted some packaging sounds, but this is what it looks like. This one I would definitely want to be careful because you can see the glass is not as thick as the KLE ones. So I'm going to have to be really careful with this. I might even put it in its box when I travel. Just for that extra oomph of security. This one, mm, this one is definitely like musky. It kind of reminds me of Opium by, um, oh gosh, I forgot the name. Is it Yves Saint Laurent? I can't remember, but it's that one, Black Opium. It kind of reminds me of the family of that scent. It's musky, vanilla, so good. I wonder if it has the description on here. Um, no, it does not. Well, that's okay. <laughs> it's divine. It's just like a little bit, it's like in the vanilla family, but it's more mature and definitely like a nice scent um, for 
evening. I work during the day, but it's still great. I just want to smell amazing all the time, you know? So, this is my perfume section of items. Love it. So, some beauty items I got from Ulta. I got a nudes bronzing stick in Bondi Bay, I believe. Um, it's like an all-over face bronzer, and I got the mini one because I want to try it out, but it's also good for travel. So, I don't know. I've never tried this before. Let's see if I can dig it out. I'm unsure if the color will be my be, suit me. Um, this is what it looks like. Um, so that's what it looks like. Nudes. Oh, I just shaved a part of it. So, oh, it's very creamy. It's kind of melty. It's interesting. Okay. My concern... <laughs> which thankfully it didn't ruin it but just be mindful it's a little melty um, I might have to be careful with this sometimes bronzers come off really orangey on me and that's just because like I'm pretty well my arms are kind of even darker than my face I would say because they're more in the sun but I think I just have to be really mindful of like my placement and blending it, but it's nice. I like that it's creamy, but it feels a little too creamy. <laughs> it could also just be really warm. Um, so I need to hopefully hope that it doesn't melt wherever I go. But I have been wanting to try the nudes. Um, thing. Look at that. I just like keep bouncing it. <laughs> try to like put it back together and now I just feel like I'm wasting product so that's fun <laughs> can you tell I'm not a beauty youtuber clearly <laughs> okay I'm gonna leave this one alone lest I accidentally break it but it's not too bad I mean I think it's like their lightest shade and honestly if i got any darker i'd probably just look ridiculous so something to try out i will report back if it's good and then i got some lip liners from nyx i've just been really into lip liners lately i feel like they hold up really well and you can kind of make a matte look out of them or like a lipstick out of them essentially and then i can add clear gloss. This is also from NYX. It's their butter gloss. This had like a 90 something percent rating on Ulta, so I was like, okay, I'm gonna try it out. Um, and it's just like a basic clear gloss. So, um, this lip pencil is peekaboo neutral, and it's kind of like mauvey, rose-colored supposedly on the end and then this one is free spirit which is a bit more brown um so yeah i really want to try these out i'm gonna see if i can open this so i opened up the peekaboo neutral and i'm just gonna well that's nice i like that it's coming off a little brighter pink but it's actually a very subtle nudie pink on my arm. I think the lighting's just making it pretty vibrant. I love that. So, this lip liner is from the Suede collection. So it's a little, probably a bit softer. A little plastic thing left. Okay, so, try to open this carefully because I just feel like I don't want to ruin it. Okay, here we go. So, yeah, it's definitely a little softer. Ooh, that's a nice brown. I like it. I like that one's more pink and one's more brown. It gives me some options. 
So yeah, I always love a good lip liner. I will definitely be using these. I always feel like I lose my lip liners too, so it's time that I picked up a few and NYX truly is great, but I am on the hunt for some new lip products in case anyone has favorites. I really like a liquid matte lipstick or some kind of satin finish, but not... I like gloss, but I'm not like constantly using gloss because it just gets sticky and everywhere, <laughs> which makes it a little hard. I like that a lip color, like a lip liner, can last if I'm eating or drinking and it's just minor touch-ups. Um, and the gloss is really for like fun. <laughs> so yeah, that is all the beauty items. So let's move into the next item. So I couldn't resist a couple of candles from Target and um, I really love to go through my fall candles all year long so it's definitely needed for picking up a few more and I love these jars. I definitely want to try and save them and use them as like actual decor. I actually went to Target and the Target I went to had zero Halloween stuff out. There was only a couple of fall items in the dollar section, mainly just fabric pumpkins. And then the home decor section had a lot more fall and even some Halloween stuff, but not that much. And I don't know if maybe it's because it's the end of August, they're just still putting things out, or maybe they put out stuff and everyone's bought the stuff. <laughs> so, uh, when I went into the back of the store, they didn't have any Halloween sections up. It was still back to school. So my guess is that specific Target just hasn't transitioned yet, which is fine. That means I still have time to get some fun Halloween pieces. Maybe not too much, because I already have plenty of decor couldn't resist a candle. And the candles tend to go quickly, so. I got this one. It's weird because this doesn't have like a name of the scent on it. That's so strange. It doesn't have the name of the scent, but it smells like a vanilla cupcake. Maybe like, you know, a vanilla pumpkin cupcake. Like that's what it reminds me of. Yeah, it's definitely like pumpkin-y vanilla, if I had to put it that way. But definitely more vanilla sugary, which is a staple scent in my house. So I got that one, and then I got this one in this gorgeous orange jar. And this one also doesn't have a scent on it, on the label, but I think it, this one's the spicy one. Yeah, this is more like autumn spice. Still somewhat warm vanilla undertones maybe, but more spicy, which I love as well. So, I am so excited. I got these at Target again. I wasn't too excited about how much there was to go through because it didn't feel like there was much, but I uh, will definitely be browsing other stores and we shall see. I'm glad these will last for, for the season and really into Christmas, if we're being honest. <laughs> Unless I burn through them too quickly. So the next items are very travel specific. And I've actually been meaning to get these for quite a while. And I had a gift card. Amazon, so I decided to go ahead and use it towards these things. It's a compact hair dryer, lightweight and portable. Now, if you are going to a hotel, odds are there's already a blow dryer. We will be staying at an Airbnb because we're going to New York City. We'll be mainly in the northern area, like the Bronx, Yonkers area. And, uh, so we're not quite in the city, uh, which means Airbnbs are a bit more inexpensive. And I wanted to do an Airbnb because we're going to be there for like a week. And the op 
option of having a kitchen is just really nice which for like the same pricing as a hotel per night essentially so I decided to get this compact dryer hair dryer by Conair so let's see if I can open it up is so great for I think especially those trips like sometimes my family will go to a lake um, on, and you know during the summer and you kind of have to bring everything you know if you're staying in a cabin so it's just really nice to have this honestly um, and I'm not sure why I haven't gotten one sooner so it's foldable very tiny so I'm sure it packs a punch when it comes to the heat I just feel like tiny dryers like this are just can be ostentatiously loud um, but we shall see I'm just really excited to have it and not have to go without a blow dryer because um, I just don't think air drying my hair I'm gonna really love that <laughs> Now, if, oh, now, of course, if you were traveling and it was like a climate where air drying your hair would be the most uh, convenient thing, probably the most easy thing, then I would just get the air dryer, but I'm going to stick this back in. I should probably fold it back. It's a nice fold. saw from like a TikTok because this is where I found out about it. Oh, it says dual voltage, great for travel. So it might be helpful for um, your trips to another country. Uh, of course, you're still going to need like the compatible outlet bricks as well. So excited to try this. So in good fashion with the I have also got a two-in-one hair straightener for silky smooth results and effortless styling by MOV. This is actually a straightener and a curling iron in one in a small compact way. And I definitely found this on TikTok initially when I was researching. Okay, so. Ooh, it comes with a bag. This is significantly, I mean, it's kind of like maybe a size of a straightener you might normally have, but honestly, being a two-for-one tool is what really sold me on it. Um, let's just open this. it's on the thinner side but medium 
like it looks like it has medium thickness but it's really pretty like like I could just do a few sections around my head and get everything done relatively quickly I do have long hair now so just kind of that is a difference but I don't have a lot of thick hair so this will work perfect for me So this is like the part where it becomes a uh, curling iron and then this is like the lock and it's a straightener that is so neat and you can obviously see it's curved so I'm sure you could like wrap your hair around that if you want and this is the lock button to keep it closed this is so great I'm so excited about this this keeps me from bringing like only a straightener or only curling iron I can now have two for one and curls or straight hair on my trip and I love that so yeah I can't wait to use this And I love that I came with a bag. Sometimes I feel like things don't come in bags anymore. with, you know, too many, uh, just a lot of people getting Halloween stuff on Etsy in the same season and then things get delayed or they don't end up working out, so I try to buy early. <laughs> so that's really my only reasoning is because I've had an experience like that before, but it's pretty hot in California well into October and I have a lot of sweatshirts already that getting a ton more is obviously like, you know, awesome, but I find that I really wanted some t-shirts so that I could still wear something if it's a hot day. Um, so I got this Haunted Mansion one with the scary ghost man. It's like this vintage-y vibe. Let's see if I can show you the full t-shirt. like and I just love it so much I feel like it'll last me a long time and I wanted something Disney because I do love the Haunted Mansion and like the Nightmare Before Christmas and Mickey obviously in Halloween garb so I had to get a Haunted Mansion one and there's so many styles out there really you can type in like vintage Halloween t-shirt sweaters and you're gonna see so many you can type in Disney um, and you will find so many options but yeah I'm really excited about this one this one I have worn out already and I've gotten a compliment on it so it's my monster mash vintage tea also from Etsy and I will link where I got so cute. 
cute. It's got Frankenstein, a werewolf, a zombie, a witch, a cute little ghost, and a vampire, and then also a mummy. <laughs> There's so many characters, but it's just like a cute purple, and I just love that it's like colorful, but still like purple green, and it's monster mash, which I love. This has also just become one of my favorite t-shirts already, so I love it so much. I got larges in both. I kind of wish I had gotten an XL only because it's difficult because I'm short, but my hips are wide, so it's like if I got an XL, it would basically be like a dress on me lengthwise, but it might fit my hips better. The large is great in terms of height on me, but definitely like my hips, it doesn't snugly hit my hips, but it's definitely like I wish it could be a little back here, you know. There's only so much <laughs> I can control. <laughs> um, but I think that it's still great. I wear it with biker shorts and run my errands in them and it's so much fun being festive. And honestly, these shirts are great all year round. <laughs> So that is my Halloween shirt number two. I only got two, but we'll see. Maybe something else will catch my eye and uh, my wallet might suffer for it. <laughs> okay, I know I said I had already too many sweaters, but I couldn't help getting a sweater. And I actually have been doing this fun tradition I started maybe this year of getting my sister a matching sweater. We already have matching sweaters from last year, and I saw this one, and I loved how minimal it is, but it's still a Halloween theme, so it's the Sanderson Witch Museum, home of the Black Flame Candle, and it's embroidered. I personally love embroidery, um, so I really wanted to find something like this, and it's just so cute and simple until you read it and realize it's like Halloween. My sister won as well. We both got larges. Um, and I will also link it below. The brand is Gildan though, like in terms of the sweater, which we love. The only thing I would say is sometimes the colors and the Etsy pictures are not the same as what you get. And that's just because of editing, honestly, and lighting. So this is a little bit more tan. However, I'm glad it's not I thought it would be more cream, but it's just like a bit more tan than I expected, which is fine. It, they can do other colors like a dark green or a maroon, white, and yeah, so lots of fun colors, but I'll link it below. <laughs> I feel like clothing is always so awkward to show in videos, but I wanted to share some Target clothing I got. Um, this not net on me it's not cropped because it's actually like the length of my torso so it's not a really long jean jacket but it's like a shorter green jacket however I wouldn't I wouldn't necessarily label it as cropped I just don't think it really is but on someone very tall with a very long torso maybe but I think on the average person it's pretty normal it just hits at the waist it's like this washed blue jean jacket with rips in it and it's honestly been the kind of jacket I've been looking for for a while just something really baggy I got a large in it I could have done a medium but I decided to stick with the large just to keep it oversized and I can layer underneath and put sweatshirts underneath it with, without it being uncomfortable The only thing is the arms are like pretty baggy, but I honestly, it's, it's great. I loved it. I'm sure Target probably still has it. I have a darker blue jean jacket, which I also think is great. It's just like a bit bigger uh, lengthwise. So I'm glad I have some jean jackets because I just didn't really have any before. So I'm glad I have some to wear this fall. So, 
I also got a pair of denim shorts. This is kind of one of those purchases that I kind of need them <laughs> for the trip, but it could be the case that they don't work out. I'm, I liked them enough in the store and I felt really comfortable that I d decided to just get them. I got a size bigger because I want them to feel like a looser fit. It's really annoying because my hips, again, are wide, but my waist is a bit smaller in ratio. So it's just like awkward because there's like a gap at the waist, but my hips feel great. And if I went down a size, my waist would be really uncomfortable. <laughs> um, and my hips. So it's just not, I'm not winning. Uh, it just really sucks. But I think all of us go through this and um, I wish I had more time to like really try out a lot more jean shorts from other brands. Target has just always been a great staple though and I'm really hoping that I use these well. Of course if they don't work out I know I can just donate them. It's just like it can be really frustrating going through the merry-go-round of finding the right piece in the size you need in the like texture and the bagginess that you want it, fitting in all the right places. I, I could probably get it tailored, but I don't really know if that would be possible in the waist. I don't know. <laughs> but this is from Wild Fable brand. Target. I really like the color. I like the bagginess fit. It's not like the most perfect pair of jean shorts though, but I do need a pair of denim shorts and all my other denim shorts are long gone, they don't fit me anymore, or they're just like too old. I just, denim shorts and me just don't always have a great mix. <laughs> so, I know I really need to check out other brands like Amber Crombie or something like that, but we'll see. So, those are my jean shorts I got. So, I ended up getting, um, of tank tops. I love tank tops. I wear them all the time. I'm constantly rotating their tank tops. So I got a black one and a white one and they're like a square neck and um, I feel like these are just really good basics for work and just the hot weather in a variety of practical ways. So I really decided to just pick them up and I love these little tank tops from Target. They just are a holy grail for me. And um, I have a lot of tank tops that are like high neck and sleeveless, but not any that are square neck. So I thought this was a good alternative uh, for when, you know, I want to switch it up a little bit. So yeah, these are also from, I think, the can't help a good tank top from Target, you know what I'm saying? So, they are ribbed. I feel like everything is ribbed. But to be honest, I love ribbed stuff. I think it just adds a little something to the shirt. Um, but I do have a lot of ribbed <laughs> Those are the two tank tops I got. Okay. And then finally, I got this really pretty oatmeal sweater. Now, I don't think wearing a sweater right now is like a good move because it's so freaking hot outside. It is freezing where I work, but I will likely not wear this for um, maybe a couple months. That being said, it was so cute and it's like a perfect work sweater. I just knew I should grab it before, you know, they don't have them anymore. It's from Universal Threads. It's a large. Honestly, I feel like it's not that big for being a large for a top. It's pretty like, uh, I would say it's short, so it could be like a crop on someone taller, but for me it hits my waist perfectly. That's my trick for clothing, being a petite person, um, in terms of my height, <laughs> is that I get cropped pants and cropped 
cropped shirts. They kind of just show up normal on me, which I love. So, they had other colors as well, but this oatmeal color was just perfect for what I envisioned. So, it's got like this ribbed collar, this sort of bottom. The sleeves are nice and comfortable as well. So, was this something I absolutely needed? No. But I was feeling excited about autumn and the colder weather coming not that soon, but soon enough. So, I am so excited about this and maybe on a cooler fall day, I will bring it out and it will be great for work. Okay. All right. Well, that entails my entire haul. It's a bit of a medley of things from the past few months. And in preparation for my trip, so I'm excited to maybe share more of that later, but I hope you did enjoy this video and that you are relaxed and I can't wait to see you.